want this delivered at 8 o'clock in the morning. But I'm not going to sweat it. I don't think the world will stop if I'm not there at 8 o'clock in the morning. I get there when I get there. All right, good morning. We're uh, near Fort McCoy, Wisconsin. We're actually at the truck stop, if you've been watching for a while, about a year ago. Uh, my water pump went out. We're at that little truck stop. This is a nice little truck stop. It's usually got parking, hand around easy, quick trip. Uh, we loaded yesterday down at Fort McCoy. It has been a busy, couple of days a few days but uh, we finally got a little bit of break today this is going down to uh, Cincinnati Ohio nice easy load three little trailers use my J hooks on the Dorsey trailer what I like to do with these trailers especially when they have the little leg down like this is uh i will put most of the tension let me step back a little bit i'll put most of the tension on the back of the trailer that way i'm not pulling down on that front leg the front's tight it's just most of the tension is on the back pulling it down so but they're not going anywhere whole load weighs about eight thousand pounds so not heavy at all but truck is holding up pretty good um oh that's right i do have one thing i gotta fix let me go ahead and fix it before we get going We were driving in the hailstorm yesterday or a couple days ago and the hail must have broke the little plastic on that piece right there so i did stop at peterbilt yesterday and i picked up that's the squirter the squirter thing for the uh, windshield washer simple fix we're going to cut this hose off right there put that on and then that'll clamp right onto there as you can see the little piece broke off that happened in that hailstorm all right so it's a simple fix and we're going to take it and place it it should go right there let me make sure yeah there's a little it's hard to, oops, there's a little nipple right there and if you look inside there there's a little hole it should go right Okay, so it's secure in that little nipple. We'll pull some of that excess down. That's the little one right there. Nice, simple fix. Yeah, all right, let's go to the hood, get a cup of coffee, get going. It's Sunday evening. We are in Bates, Batesville, Indiana, in a rest area. And we're actually on the wrong side of the interstate. So we're on 74, we're on the west side. We need to go to Cincinnati, which is that way. Um, I stopped at a Petro about five miles away and all they had was reserved parking. And this rest area is not too bad, it's nice and big. So I went down, turned around, came back, I don't know, probably 10 miles out of my way, but I would rather stay here tonight I can take Bailey out for a nice walk. We can both get a nice walk. And uh, we don't have to stay in the uh, Cardio Petro back there. That Petro, the parking lot's tiny. What's it, Green, Greenboro, Greenberg, something like that. Indiana, on 74. It's kind of tight. Bailey's been patient all day. We've had a busy day. Bailey's been patient all day. She's hungry. She knows that word. You're hungry, ain't you? Yeah. All right. We're going to hit it tomorrow. Talk to you later. All right. Good morning. We 
just left the rest area a couple miles up the road here. We're going to go up to this exit, flip around, and go back the other way. So we're going to, we've got about an hour over to deliver these things. And then we've got about 100 miles to our reload. And then we're going to run up to Michigan a little bit northwest of Detroit and then I got my name on a load out of, out of near Detroit going back to Wisconsin so we'll see if we get it she said there was three empty drivers in front of me so it's got to pass down through everybody Nobody wants to do it. Alright. Man, that light seemed like it took forever. staying at that uh, rest area and staying down there at the Petro took Bailey out for a nice walk last night we went for a walk this morning stuff unloaded we're down here in Greenville Indiana I think <laughs> waiting to pick up they uh, they called and said when are you gonna be there the customer wants to know and there's probably 10 trucks waiting in line I'm out in the street there's a truck behind me I gotta go in and around the building so there's probably four or five trucks on the other side of the building. Looks like there's two trucks right here. Classic hurry up and wait. Oh, I haven't loaded over here in a while. This is where you get those plastic edge protectors. I don't need them though. I got plenty of my own. Bailey, uh, I don't know if you can see the, the geese over there. The geese in the field. Bailey was looking at them. But I got a rattle in the truck and I can't figure out where it's coming from. It's driving me crazy. So I'll have to work on that. Alright, let's see how long this takes.
this delivered at 8 o'clock in the morning. And it's now going on after 6. And it's 350 miles up there. drive all the way up there maybe they'll have look at it they still got all these trucks sitting in here waiting to get in here just ridiculous that is ridiculous hours of driving and unless I drove all the way up there and camped out right in front of the place I got to take a 10 hour break and even if I did camp out there and I got there at midnight I can't start work until 10 o'clock in the morning Theoretically. Which also means that I probably wouldn't get there until 10 o'clock. And it wouldn't be a whole issue if I would have got loaded at 12.30 when I got there. Or even at 2.30. But I'm not going to sweat it. Turn left onto Indiana 9 North, North Indiana 9. I don't think the world will stop if I'm not there at 8 o'clock in the morning. get there when I get there. Alright, good morning. We're in Dexter, Michigan at TA. We're getting some uh, filling up our water tank. We'll take a look at what we loaded yesterday. These are big insulated panels. I called uh, I called today Somebody threw their trash up there and I gotta get that down. Uh, I called today to see if I can get some detention time. We'll see how it goes. That's what we got. Oh, they uh, throw the straps, put the edge protectors on. We got about 45 miles to go from here. So it's about, uh, I don't know, 8.30ish. We're supposed to be there at 8. We'll get there about 10. Not too sure what is going on at the fuel aisle here today. But, all right. 